What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, the mystery has been revealed. And once again, don't doubt your boy Fanon. I knew some nonsense was up, and I was about 90% there with why this damn fight got postponed. And now an article came out from uh, Keith Eidek and BoxingScene.com, and it pretty much came around to what I thought, which was that it wasn't some t- soft tissue injury that postponed this fight. It was about finding a way to get the fight paid for because Manny Pacquiao pulled out on that uh, out of that pay-per-view card. And now a uh, report has come out where Bob Arum has renegotiated a deal with ESPN to allow them to charge us boxing fans for the right to see Terrence Crawford versus J- Jeff Horn. But instead of it being a pay-per-view uh, a fight, which he wanted it. Now it's a subscription. Now it's basically like the ESPN equivalent of Showtime or HBO, where you have to buy buy a subscription to see the fight. So I knew it, and it moved, and he moved it to some. the 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 application isn't going to be available to some time in the spring. Now, if you want to believe, continue to believe the soft hand injury. Go ahead and believe it. But like I said, I did not hear Terrence Crawford actually say that. I heard Bob Arum say that. And that is Mr. Bob Arum who says, I was telling you, I was lying yesterday and today I'm telling the truth. So in this case, Bob Arum lived up to his quote because yesterday he was lying and today he's telling the truth. So let me go through the article and then I'll tell you, then we can talk about it. But before I do that, please subscribe to the live stream. Uh, to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can participate in the live streams that we have about this sub- we're going to have about this subject and other subjects it's the best way to have real time conversations and you'll give your thoughts on that and also you know hit me up on twitter and I'll share the articles for these things on twitter so Keith I- Keith Eidick Crawford Horn will be streamed through ESPN Plus subscription app One of the most significant questions related to the Terrence Crawford, Jeff Horn fight has been answered. According to ESPN.com report Thursday morning, Jim Patero, the cable network's new president, announced during a meeting Wednesday that Crawford Horn will be made available through the ESPN Plus app. The app, which will launch sometime this spring, will cost $4.99 per month and will include a lot of boxing content as well as live coverage of other sports. Patero also announced that 12 cards provided by Bob Arum's Top Ranking Incorporated will be streamed through the ESPN Plus app, including the show headlined by Crawford and Horn. Top Rank signed an exclusive content deal with ESPN last summer. Aram and Top Rank president Todd DeBuff had considered airing Crawford Horn as a main event of an ESPN pay-per-view show. That plan was scrapped once Filipino star Manny Pacquiao declined an offer to fight Mike Alvarado on the Crawford Horn undercard. Crawford 32-0 32-0 with 23 KOs of Omaha, Nebraska, is a former two-division champion who's widely considered as one of the best boxers in the sport. He is the mandatory challenger for the WBO welterweight title. Horn won by upsetting Pacquiao on July 2nd in Brisbane, Australia, Horn's hometown. Crawford initially was scheduled to take place April 14th at the Mandalay Bay, Bay Center in Las Vegas, Aram announced Wednesday, the same day Patero announced Crawford Horn would be streamed via ESPN app, that that Crawford had sustained a hand injury during training that will require the fight to be postponed until May 19th or an undetermined date in June. Now, that's pretty good timing to make this announcement, miraculously. Patero said, according to ESPN's story, we have closed an amendment to our partnership with top ranked boxing. We will now have exclusive access to 12 very, very high quality cards as part of the ESPN plus app that will include the upcoming Crawford horn fight. This is going to be a very, very impactful to the ESPN plus experience. We couldn't be more excited. It's really good news for us. 
through the ESPN Plus app described as ESPN's first multi-sport direct-to-customer subscription streaming service. Fans can watch live pro and college sporting events for $4.99 a month. In addition to boxing, it'll offer MLB, MSL, and uh, MLS, and NHL games, as well as cricket, golf, rugby, tennis matches, and a variety of other uh, sporting events. So, like I said, if you believe that that was a serve, that was a soft t- uh, tissue um, injury, I got a bridge to sell you. Now, what is the chance? What's the chance that just so happens that the day they announce that the that his fight is going to that the ESPN Plus, you're going to be able to charge four ninety nine a month, right? Which is basically sixty dollars a year. So you got to pay sixty dollars to see for the year. I'm I don't know if they're probably going to have it month to month or whatever. Who knows what the specifics of that's going to be? But however, all of a sudden it's a subscription, so you got to pay for the fight. And it's going to be available sometime in June. I mean, sometime in the spring. But Crawford and Horn will be on that subscription network that you have to pay for. Funny, what fight do they know is going to be happening in May 12th that they didn't say was going to be on a subscription that you don't have to pay for? Vasil Lomachenko versus Jorge Linares. We got to pay for Terrence Crawford to see Terrence Crawford on a subs- by a subscription basis. And they wanted to, just like this article said, for the few people that left those messages to me, because you know I'm rubbing your nose in it. The reason they originally wanted that Manny Pacquiao thing to be pay-per-view. ESPN pay-per-view. However, because Manny Pacquiao pulled out, they had to move it to another way to get you to pay for it. Because Bob Arum doesn't want to have use the budget set aside for free fights on Terrence Crawford. He wants to use that budget to build Vasily Omachenko. And let's see, who are more people going to watch? Uh, which fight is going to do better? Terrence Crawford's or Vasily Omachenko's? Let's see. Vasily Lomachenko fights on ESPN that you get with your basic cable subscription, that's your basic cable service, or Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn that you have to actually pay to see. Like I said, man, if you believe that Bob Arum, that hand injury is what postponed that fight, I got a bridge to sell you. It's about Bob Arum making us pay to see the Terrence Crawford fight versus Jeff Horn, because he's not going to spend the money to make to have it just be paid for out of his pocket. Now, I I mean, out of the budget from ESPN. Now, I don't know how whether this is going to be, you know, how exactly they're going to work it out, whether or not some of it has to come out of the budget and some of it doesn't, because regular pay-per-view, as long as you sell three hundred and fifty, three hundred fifty, whatever, seven hundred fifty thousand. That's the number for ES, for HBO. They feel like they're going to break even. So I don't know what the break even point is going to be. However, I know this, that it, it's not pay-per-view, but it's pay. It's subscription. You got to pay for the fight. Now, people are going to say, like, like I said before, man, Terrence Crawford, a second fiddle it, with Bob Arum, in top rank to Vasil Lomachenko. But hey, man, it is what it is. They're going to do what they're going to do. And I find it interesting, though, how everybody was real quick to jump on Terrence Crawford when, honestly, man, Terrence Crawford isn't even the one that said he had the hand injury. I didn't hear him actually say it. I heard Bob Arum say it. But Bob Arum was lying yesterday, (laughs) but he's telling the truth today, which is, look, I found a way to pay for this fight. Even in the, uh, that's why I put, I knew this was going down. I can't say that I knew that it was going to be this subscription app because obviously I don't have any inside, you know, I wasn't at the meeting for ESPN. So I didn't know that they had an app coming out, but I knew this has something to do with finding a way to find money to pay for this fight. I'd be very interested to know what that amendment says to the contract. I'm quite sure it has to have something to do with adding a little more money to it. Given uh get maybe given top rank a certain amount of the money for 
for the fight. I don't know. It's just going to be, it's very interesting. However, man, we know for certain, if you want to see this, you got to pay for it. You want to see Terrence Crawford, you got to pay for it. If you want to see Vasil Lomachenko, A, you can see him for free. You can see him for free. But it also, man, it, but it, I'm sure it has to be that way because they got to pay. They got to pay Terrence Crawford and they got to pay Jeff Horn. Terrence Crawford is going to make over, I believe that he makes over a million dollars a fight. I'd be shocked if he makes less money than Vasil Lomachenko. If he made less money than Vasil Lomachenko, I'd be like, really like, wow. But I'm just going to assume that that's not the case, that he gets, you know, the same amount of, that Vasil Lomachenko gets per fight, which is about, I think it's $1.2 million a fight. Just, I think that's a safe bet because that's right around what Errol Spence got guaranteed. That's around what other guys are getting paid. So, um, you know, the the uh, Danny Garcia is guys, you know, right around that same right right around that same um, drawing power. Right. That's about what they're getting paid. So if you got one point one point five one point two five for Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I think Jeff Horn is getting a million for this. I said that in the other video that Jeff Horn and I'd been reading for what I read this early on that he said if he he had a two fight option. Top rank has a two fight option on Jeff Horn. So now that that option, so but in the second fight, the first fight against Manny Pacquiao was five hundred thousand dollars. But if he won the fight against Manny Pacquiao, he was going to get significantly more money in the next fight. So this one, I'm assuming, is another million dollars. So that's a couple million dollars right off the bat that you know they got to pay, and they would have to have taken that out of the roughly sixty-four million dollars over four years that they got. That'd be interesting. Also, maybe the, since they amended it, whether or not they're gonna, you know, they're gonna give more of the budget to them or whatever. I don't know. You know, all of that is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna be looking forward. You know, looking closely at Forbes magazine. I'm gonna be looking very closely at you know, like whatever bit of rumor that you can get from Dana White. Who and Dana White was the first guy to kind of hit me to the fact that this deal was garbage. <laughs> well, that he's the first person to call the ESPN garbage and not a real television deal. And then it, that was followed up by Luda Bella. And Luda Bella pretty much said that Bob, that Bob Arum was paying Terrence Crawford out of his pocket. And he said it when, during the time that immediately after the Errol Spence fight with, um, right after the Errol Spence fight with Lamont Peterson, Luda Bella was interviewed and Luda Bella said that he was asked, Luda Bella was asked if they thought that Terrence Crawford would be uh, would be fighting Errol Spence. And Luda Bella's response to that was, nah, probably not anytime soon because I can't Im imagine that Bob Arum is going to want to pay his own money to see his fighter beaten, right? So that, you know, aside from, you know, the comedy in, in Luda Bella saying that, Terrence Craw that uh, Errol Spence would beat Terrence Crawford, he brought out the fact that Bob Arum is paying for these things out of his own pocket. But, you know, what do you call it? Old snakes, old day, old snakes die hard. <laughs> Something, I just made that one up. But it ain't easy to kill this snake. So ESPN apparently gave him a little room, say, okay, we can move this over to the ESPN Plus app, which I'm sure they've been planning for a long time you know, releasing because streaming um, is a big thing. There's fewer people who, you know, people are cutting the cord, right? Even, you know, Showtime, you're able to see show, you'll be able to show stream the Showtime fights. I haven't seen that you're able to stream the HBO fights yet, though. I've actually had to, like, I actually have to go to my cable box and, you know, watch it. Uh, I have Google Fiber, so I'm going to actually have to watch that on Google Fiber or whatever. But, you know, these apps, they're moving to streaming. And subscription and to get these extra sports and, you know, to generate revenue for ESPN, which has been which has not been growing as quickly as it had been. Right. I, you know, that's obviously a move that they've been making that they've been making for a while and looking forward to do for a while. So, you know, Bob Arum's able to capitalize on it. But, you know, in my long story short, though, hey, I'm gonna talk a little mess here. Don't doubt me, man. <laughs> Don't doubt me. I told you. And I'm talking to the specific people that left those messages like, man, this was just I had no proof. I had proof that this was the reason. And I didn't believe that damn hand injury. Number one, it's a soft tissue hand injury. And every and like Glenn Rushton said, 
Always got to, you know, shoot it up with some cortisone and move on. Number two, it's a month. Of, the fight was a month away. The tickets aren't on sale. I heard people make, you know, the rumors about poor ticket sales. How can you have poor ticket sales when you don't have any ticket sales at all? They haven't sold any tickets because they didn't have the date. Because once Manny Pacquiao pulled out of that pay-per-view card, it was a wrap. They weren't going to be able to hold that fight. They weren't going to be able to pay for the fight without using up a ton of the budget that ESPN had set aside for it. So when will this fight happen? We'll see. But once again, and I'm just, I'm going to rub it in. (laughs) I'm going to rub it in (laughs) because I got enough people giving me these annoying messages about, hey, man, it was just... Terrence Crawford's just a punk. Terrence Crawford's just soft. Terrence Crawford's just a little princess. Terrence Crawford just doesn't want it. Terrence Crawford doesn't want it. Terrence Crawford responds in a, in a text saying, all these people making assumptions got no ideas. And at first I was like, well, you know, I know he's not talking about me making assumptions, but he's talking about the people. He was talking about the people that kept saying that he was scared. He's trying to find a way to put on more weight, all of that stuff. But just to rub it in, let me go this do this again. Crawford Horn initially was scheduled to take place April 14th at Mandalay Bay Center Event Center in Vegas. Aram announced Wednesday, the same day, the same day. Patero announced Crawford Horn would be streamed on ESPN. That Crawford sustained a hand injury during the training of a fight that required the fight to be postponed until May 19th or, or an undetermined date early in June. Well, What? How coincidental? How coincidental that they both say the same thing at the same time? Oh, Crawford had, I mean, uh, he has a hand injury. (laughs) Crawford has a hand injury. And it's going to be televised whenever this application is released sometime in uh, April. And if you believe that, like I said, man, there's a lot of people that believe pretty much anything they hear, man. Pretty much, and if you're gonna believe anything you hear from Bob Aaron, man, seriously, you deserve to get your money taken. You deserve to take your money. I'm sure that's what like Vegas must be like relying on people that just believe whatever they're told. Like, yeah, you know, we didn't. Uh, yeah, it's a hurt. Why? Why is he not fighting? Why haven't tickets been sold? This is highly unusual. He never explains why the ticket were the tickets didn't go on sale, and he says it's a hand injury, and then the very next day. It comes out that they announced that it's going to be streamed via ESPN plus app for four dollars and ninety nine cents a month. So, yeah, I'm rubbing it in just a little bit because this was obvious. You can't go reading and believing what you can't. Honestly, I don't think you can read just one article and get a picture. But if you read 10, 11 articles, you go to the Philippines, you read the Manila Times if you read to if you read the Manila Times, then you read Boxing Scene, then you go to what is it, ABSEN interviews with Pacquiao, and then you go over and you read um the I think it's the Sun. Is it the Sun out of uh out of Australia? Or maybe the Sun's out of the UK. But get yourself an international news stream and read what people have to say about what's going on with these fights from an international perspective. Because if you want to know the truth about the closest thing to the truth about what's going on with Jeff Horn. You can't read boxing scene. You got to read something coming out of Australia who are interviewing the fighters who know the fighter, who know the manager, who know everybody involved. And they're going to give you the best idea about what's going on with, uh, with the guy with Jeff Horn in Australia. If you want to know what's going on with Manny Pacquiao, don't pay attention to what Bob Aram says. Pay attention to what they're saying in the Manila Times. Pay attention to the people that are translating exactly the uh, that are translating the word that are coming out of the mouth of <laughs> Manny Pacquiao. And if you want to know what's going on with Terrence Crawford and all that, just hey, that's easier to get because you can get that in the United States. But most importantly, do not believe Bob Aram and what Bob Aram says. This is not a matter of Manny Pacquiao. I mean, this is not a matter of uh, Terrence Crawford getting some soft tissue damage. It's not serious at all. But, you know, we just can't have a fight that day. That's the answer. that he, That's the lie he gave today. <laughs> but you can wait around. 
<laughs> you can wait around for the truth to come around tomorrow. But usually it's not going to come out of his mouth. It's going to come out of the mouth of somebody else. Well, you'll find out what the real deal is. So anyway, get ready. To, if you want to see Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford fans, get prepared to get your $4.99 a month you know, subscription to the, ESP, to the ESPN Plus app, right, in lieu of pay-per-view. Anyway, it is what it is, and I'm out. Peace.